Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. In this video, I'm going to go over the differences between a model and a view model. And this is actually very important because if you're building Swift UI applications, the preferred design pattern is MVVM. So you must understand the differences between your domain objects, the models, versus the view models, which are just supplying the data to the view. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when we're getting started with this, and this example of this video will be a little bit longer, so if you want it uh, to skip certain parts, you can, but I really do recommend that you watch it from, from the start to the end, because it does have a lot of important concepts that we'll be covering. Now, some of the features that we'll be covering is this. So these are the actual business rules that we need to implement in our application. When creating an account, a user should provide social security number, balance and account type. When opening a checking account, a user must provide at least $100 initial balance. And when opening a savings account, a user must provide at least $500 initial balance. So these are the different domain rules that we, that we need to implement. And these rules, you will see that they end up being in the model because these are the domain rules, the business rules. These, this have nothing to do with the view model. View model will be simply providing the data or taking the data or providing the data back to the view. And that's pretty much it, as you will see in this example. Now, before I begin, I'd like to point out that my kids are actually in the backyard and they are playing. So you may be able to hear their sound, uh, their voice. Uh, so apologies for that, but uh, we're going to continue with the video. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is to create a model that can take in a social security number and that can take in an initial balance and that can also allow you to select an account type. So we will be dealing with checking account and the savings account. So I'm going to go over here and create a new group and I will call it view models. Inside the view models, I'm going to go ahead and add a new file. It can be a surf file. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I will call it create bank, oops, bank account view model. Create bank account view model. Okay. So create bank, bank account view model, which will be responsible for, well, creating a bank account, right? So let's go ahead and create this. Create bank account view model we will go ahead and use observable object and you will see that we will be needing it later on so we will be taking social security number so i'm going to go ahead and create a social security number field we will be using a balance now the balance i'm going to go ahead and use string because we are collecting that balance from uh, from the person from online i mean from a ui so it's going to come as string so that's why we're using string and we need some sort of an account type because we do have multiple or two accounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bank account type, which is an enum, which we will create in a moment. So let's go ahead and actually create our bank account type. The so bank account type is, you know, simply an enum. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop an enum over here, which will be a bank account type. And you can see that it's either checking or it is saving. There are only two options to create a bank account type. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and create a message property. Now, this message property is a message that the user can see on the screen. All right. So this message property is like your account has been created, your account has been denied, your account this, your account that. So that's the whole point of this message property. So now that we have created the bank create bank account view model, we can actually move on to the content view or our user interface and start implementing the view. All right. And I'm not going to go over each and every single thing that we will be implementing in the view. So I'm just going to kind of like drag and drop some of the stuff that we can see and we'll be able to implement that. Uh, we'll be able to use that later on. So I'm just going to drag and drop a view. The view is not really important. You have done this a billion times. All right. Okay, there we go. So there are a couple of different things going on. Or you can see over here on line number 13, 
we created an instance of a create bank account view model and we marked it with observed object. Next, we are using the VStack and we are creating a field for social security number. We are creating a field to enter the balance and then we are creating a segmented control which will allow us to populate the account type. So whether the account type is checking or savings. And then we have a button which doesn't really do anything right now. And we have a text which is simply displaying a message property. So this can be your account has been created, your account is not created because you need to provide this or that. So that message property will be used over there. And you can see now the interface is refreshed. You can see it's a very plain, simple interface. All right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and perform a little bit of validation, which means that you need to perform, you need to give us the social security number, you need to give us the balance, at least you need to give us these two things, right? Or else it's not gonna work. So all of that validation, since these are not really business rules per se, these are more of a UI validation, they can go into the create bank account view model. So I can go over here and I can maybe create a function and I can call it open bank account. And inside the function, I can actually check for different things. So I can probably check for the social security number being empty and the balance field being empty. And if it is empty, I'm simply going to set, oops, I'm simply going to set the message property to social security and balance is required. Now, if you do that, nothing is really going to happen because we forgot to mark our message property with published. And now since this is marked with publish, anytime you set this property message to anything, which we're doing over here, this is going to cause the view to render again. And when it renders again, this time the message will have a, some value like social security is required or something, and it is going to get displayed. But we still need to call the open bank account function when we click on the open button. So let's go ahead and do that. Self.create bank account. So let's see our view model pops up. There we go. And then we can go ahead and call the open bank account function. Perfect. Right? Let's go ahead and run this. So hopefully if I simply go ahead and click on open or press the open button without entering the social security number or without entering the balance, I should get some sort of a message being displayed on the screen using this message property or the message view that you need to provide these things. And there we go. You can see social security and balance is required. So this is great. We moved a little bit further and we were able to at least display some sort of a validation message. All right. Now let's go back to our view model. What other validation stuff that we need? Well, we need to also understand that the balance has to be a number and the balance has to be greater than zero and all that. So we can actually add that kind of a validation also. There we go. Great. All right. Now the next step are the business rules, right? So the next step, the business rule means that we have to make sure that when you're creating a checking account, then a user must provide at least $100 initial balance. And if a person is creating a savings account, then the user must provide at least $500 initial balance. These are the domain, the business rule. They have nothing to do with the view model itself. These are the rules of the application, the domain rules, the domain objects, the business rule, which guide the application, which is the brain of the application. So that is something that we need to do that in the actual model rather than on the view model. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new group and I will call it models. And inside the models, I'm going to go ahead and add a new file. This will be our model. And we will call it bank account. Perfect. All right, so what goes inside the model? Well, we are creating a bank account, so we definitely need some stuff related to the bank account. So I'm just gonna copy a class for the bank account. Now this is not obviously the complete class. You can see that we have a social security number. It's taking a balance, it's taking an account type, and it will generate eventually some sort of an account number after everything is correct. So we pass in the social security number, balance and account type, 
uh, when you are creating an account. But in order to open an account, we have to implement the open function. So this is the one that's going to actually open an account. And this is where we will implement our business rules. So business rules mean that if the account type is equals to checking, then we should check that if the balance is less than 100, then we will have to do something over here. And else if the account type, so these are the actual business rules that I'm talking about. This is the domain object, which is checking for these business rules. If the balance is less than 500, then well, we have to do something over here. So what should we do over here? Well, we can actually throw an exception. And what kind of exception we can throw? Well, we can throw our custom exception. So I can go ahead and create an exception called bank account error, which will have minimum funds requirement exception. And it will take in a minimum amount. Obviously, the name is up to you, whatever you want to create, that's perfectly fine. So now I can actually go ahead and throw an exception. So I can say over here, throw, and I can say over here, bank account error dot minimum account or minimum balance, which is 100 is required. And the same thing I can do for the savings account where the minimum balance will be, let's say 500. Now this obviously open function cannot really throw an exception. So we have to mark this with throws. And now it should be able to throw an exception. What about if the exception never took place? Meaning what about if everything is good? Well, if everything is good, then we should be able to simply create the bank account number. So self dot account number equals to UUID dot account or where is it? UUID string, there we go. And we can go ahead and even return this value. Now this is up to you if you want to return this value or you want to simply access, you know, the actual bank account object inside a view model, that's perfectly fine also. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and over here say that we are going to return the value. That's fine, and let's go ahead and build that. All right, there we go. Now we can go back to our view model and try to see that if we can actually create an account. So right over here, when we are free from it's, it's not empty and the balance is all good and everything, we can go ahead and create a bank account. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a bank account. All right. Now, one of the things that you will see is that I'm accessing a domain object right inside my uh, view model. And that's perfectly fine. There's nothing really wrong with that. The, the part that will be wrong, if I try to expose this bank account to the actual view. And why is it wrong? It's wrong because bank account contains some business rules. You see, these rules, and these rules should never be exposed to the outside world. These are the actual business rules which on which the business is actually running, okay? All right, so the next step for us would be to simply go ahead and call the bank account.open. So I'm simply going to take a shortcut over here and try to implement that by simply copy pasting some stuff. That's nothing really going on. Let's see, there we go, we can, we can go through it. So we're gonna call the bank account. It's eventually going to hopefully return some sort of an account number, which it's going to go to the account number. And if it doesn't, then we can simply say error creating an account. Uh, else we can simply say the account number has been created. If the exception is of minimum funds requirement type of exception, then we can say that the minimum requirements is whatever the amount of the exception is being thrown. Okay, well, let's go to our content view and hopefully we'll be able to run this now. Let's see, go ahead and uh, refresh that. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so first of all, I'm not going to enter anything and say open and you can see the social security number is required. Now, I am not gonna type in the actual social security numbers. I'm just gonna type something and the balance. So let's say the balance is, let's say $3. And you can see that right now checking is selected. And now it's telling you that the minimum amount for checking account is $100. If I go ahead and change it to savings, then it will say that the savings account minimum is 500. See that? Now we can go ahead, I mean, select any one of you we want. I'm gonna say 300 and I will open a checking account. And when I open a checking account, 
I can see that this is my account number, which is uh, horrible because no one can remember this account number. And that's not my actual account number looks like, obviously. But you can see that how it is working. And hopefully you are able to see the difference between a view model and a model. A view model is simply providing some data. You can, it can do UI kind of a validation, but the actual business rules that you need to implement, they go inside the actual model. And these business rules are very, very, very important because they are guiding the application. They are the brains of the application, all right? So hopefully after creating this simple application, with opening an account and working on these small three features, you were able to understand the difference between a model, which is a domain model, versus a view model, which is simply a model to provide the data to the UI and take in the data from the UI. But any kind of a logic, any kind of business rules, those are actually performed in the actual model, which in our case is bank account. If you have enjoyed this video and want to support my YouTube channel, then check out my Udemy courses and buy my Udemy courses. You can see that there are so many different kinds of courses that I've created. Uh, Swift UI course, this is the best selling course for Swift UI. I even have courses for machine learning, artificial intelligence, MVVM design pattern. I'm always working also on new courses, even ARK, blockchain, Flutter node and all that stuff. So I have a lot of different courses. Now, the best way to get these courses and if you want to support me is to follow the links in the description because if you follow the links in the description, that's definitely going to help me out. And I will get to keep a little bit of a bigger revenue if you are using the links, all right? Um, but uh, thank you so much. And I really hope that you enjoy this uh, video and thank you for your continuous support.